Hello, Alan. Hello, boys. Hello, Pinch. Hello, Gary. Here's some some um, DVDs you might like to watch. Peeping Tom. A classic Michael Powell film starring Carl Bohm and Moira Shearer, Anna Massey. Um, if you want to know where David Bowie got his look from, um, one of his looks, you know, uh, it comes from Peeping Tom, where Carl Bohm is just is the per ultimate mod. He rides up on his little moped with the looks so cool. This might be a bit too risque for the boys. Fast the Pussycat Kill Kill. Russ Meyer's masterpiece. Possibly, probably my favourite film of all time. Kurosawa's Rashomon. Freaking masterpiece. Absolute masterpiece. This is a B-grade masterpiece, Kiss Me Deadly, starring Ralph Meeker. It was like, um, uh, so sleazy and, and, and violent, you know, probably not really for the boys. They might like this one. It's got a choo-choo train in it. The train, starring Burt Lancaster. Directed by John Frankenheimer, st starring Burt Lancaster, uh, Paul Schofield. Oh, yeah, he's so good in this. They're all good in this. Michelle Simon, they're so good. Wolfgang Price, Richard Munch, Jean Moreau. Great, great movie. Adventure, action, suspense film. Fantastic. A black and white film, an absolute masterpiece of a movie. Talking of other B grade masterpieces, Carnival of Souls. God, I love this. Um, starring a bunch of nobodies, produced, filmed, directed by nobodies, and yet it's. Oh, the guy that made this used to make industrial. Um, documentaries and this influenced David Lynch big time if you've ever seen a razor head uh, it's the, 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 there's a lot of carnival organ music running all through this there's a lot of or she was an organist and there's it's spooky as hell it really is a spooky film 64 but it, it creeps me out every time I watch it very very creepy movie big influence on David Lynch um yeah beautifully shot it's just astonishing and even the the um the actors and and the people that aren't even proper actors it just it's beautiful masterpiece carnival of souls another masterpiece golly i have a lot of dvds so i just picked a few but a few out here in cold blood And it's hard to believe, but uh, the guy right up front there, uh, Robert Blake, not his real name, he's, a, he's an Italian, has an Italian name, and Scott Wilson, the guy there. This film is just a masterpiece, also a black and white masterpiece from about 1967 or 60, yeah, roughly around there. Just truly horrific movie. It really is a horrific film. Um, what can you say? Truman Capote's best-selling book, which I have. Um, directed by Richard Brooks. Music by Quincy Jones. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, 
Oh my god, what a film. Yes, that's what I was about to say. Robert Blake was eventually um, tried for the murder of having his murdering his wife, one of his wives, and uh, I read his book. This guy is really a very, very odd person, and uh, he got off, but um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I have my suspicion that he got away with murder. On a lighter note, the boys might enjoy this. The Adventures of Barry McKenzie. There's Barry McKenzie wearing his Pommy Bastards t shirt. <laughs> this is a very, very funny movie. Oh my god. I've got also got um Barry McKenzie holding his own, which was the follow up, but it's it's nothing, it's garbage. This this is brilliant. This is right up there with it's got Peter Cooks in it. Ah, uh, it's got a cast of wonderful, eccentric um, English actors. Uh, just terrific, terrific, terrific stuff. A ghastly, vulgar film, reviled by the critics, adored by fair dinkum Aussies. Cop that, you rotten pommy bastard. <laughs> I'm as dry as a dead dong. I'm as dry as a dead dingo's donger. How terribly camp. What a super literal. Diggle. Diggle. That's Peter Cook down the bottom there. Great film. Funny as all fuck. Masterpiece, of course. The Third Man. Not a lot to say about this. Joseph Cotton. Mm, with Trevor Howard. Mm, and Orson Welles. Mm, perfection. Absolutely perfect this film. Sewer footage, courtesy of Anton Karras newsreel footage. How's that? When I mean, that's when they're down in the sewers of Vienna. What a film! Oh my God! Oh. Directed by Carol Reed. That's a man, not a woman. Another masterpiece. Shadow of a doubt. Hitchcock film. Joseph Cotton again. Alfred Hitchcock's A Shadow of a Doubt. Oh, God, this is another masterpiece. A genuinely scary movie. He's so good in this. Joseph Cotton. You know, Joseph Cotton, the everyman. The likeable guy. He's likeable in this. But by golly, he's not a good guy at all. Another, this is a brilliant British film, The Servant, um, Joseph Lucy directed. don't know what happened to him, but he, he was Dirk Bogard, Sarah Miles, Wendy Craig and James Fox, The Servant. There's no point in going into, it's based on a novel by Robin Maugham. There's, there's no point going into any detail on this. Most of you that are into movies... I, in roughly my age bracket, would know all these, most of them. Cape Fear, another black and white masterpiece. Um, Greg Peck, Bob Mitchum. Superb. Nothing more to say. It's just Directed by J. Lee Thompson. Scary film. Another scary... These are... Most of these are actually very scary movies, but not horror films, not stupid stuff. They, these are, they are frightening movies, most of them. Even The Adventures of Barry McKenzie is sort of frightening in a way, because they, they, there's a lot of nastiness underneath it all, under, underneath all these films. This is a masterpiece as well, Strangers on a Train. Alfred Hitchcock again. Um, Farley Granger, Ruth Roman, and Robert Walker. Wow. What a movie. Like, there's nothing to say. They're all great movies. So I can highly recommend them to, to the boys when they grow up a bit. They're a bit too young to watch them now. Bye for now.